Hello and welcome to the third of the Stupendous Shows. I have lots of fun with, with you today, lots of activities. I'm going to do some almost persistence of vision, almost a moving image, which I think you'll find very interesting. I'm going to show you my technique for how to do some super cartoon drawing. Hopefully you'll get a lot of fun doing that. And of course our magic trick is going to this week involve this card. I'm going to see if we can show your adult how we can put this card maybe over your head but actually over a much larger object than this card itself. So let's get on and get the first activity on the way. So, for this first activity today with the uh, moving image or persistence of vision, what we're going to try and do is get two images and merge them together. This is something that you will need. Some paper. You need a pencil. A pen. A ruler some sellotape and some scissors. Remember if you need help using the scissors ask your adult but if you do use them please be super careful. So let's get on with this first activity. So for this next section what you will need you will need a pencil, a pen, some sellotape and a ruler and some paper. You also need some scissors. Remember, if you need help with the scissors, please talk to your adult. But if you do use them yourself, remember, please be super, super careful. So what we're going to do first of all with the piece of paper, we're going to measure out a line for eight centimetres. I'll just do a line, just a line there and one over here then we will join those two together just like so and then using the scissors we will cut just up here so what we're going to do is end up creating a couple of squares and we'll do the same thing again, make it 8 centimetres a line there, 8 centimetres a line there, draw the line across, eight centimetres there and there, and draw the line across again. And then all we do, we cut those into two squares. They don't, don't have to be exact, but just as close to being the same as possible. What we're going to do now is to draw a picture on it. We want to draw this as much in the middle as you possibly can. So what we're going to do here, what shall we draw? Um, I think what we shall draw is a bird. So I'm going to draw a little bird. Now I'm using a dark pen so that when we do the second part of the drawing, let's draw an eye. Not the best bird I've ever drawn. Give him a pupil, a couple of legs there, there we go. It needs to be nice and dark because what we're going to do now, we're going to put the other square over the top. And I'm not sure if you can see there, but I can see the image of the bird under 
the other piece of paper. I'll just bring that up close, see if you can see it. I, I can see it here, that's why I've used a dark pen. You can see the image there, and what I'm going to draw now is a bird cage. I'm drawing it nice and big so that it goes around the bird. Let's draw some bars for the bird cage there. And so, now on one side we've got the bird, sorry, on one piece of paper we've got the bird, and the other piece of paper we've got the bird cage. So what we're going to do now we're going to turn the bird over. Well, it's come through, that's quite good. And we're going to, using the cellar tape, we're going to stick that to the pencil. We want the pencil to be as as close to being in the middle as you possibly can. That will help when you do the bit of science that we're going to do in a moment. Yep, yep that's stuck on nicely. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that part of the bird cage, and we, we can't stick that to the pencil. But what we can do, if we square that up, we can stick that to the other side of the paper. So we're just going to do that there. And we're going to do that. Oh, let's be careful when you put it on, make sure it's squared up nicely. And there. That's nicely squared, stick that on. And then just put it on the other sides, bits, the other, um, other parts, the other corners, that's the word I'm desperately trying to say. I feel a bit silly. And just put it on the corners there. And so, what we can do now, so we've got the bird cage on one side, the bird on the other. Now if you put this between your hands like this, and then roll it really, really quickly, you can actually see the bird is in, it looks like the bird is in the cage, just like that. And my cat has come to see the bird. Can you see the bird there? Can you see the bird? So remember, you just put it in your hands like so. And then you just roll it nice and quickly. Nice and quickly like that. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. But if you do this at home, you'll be able to see the bird is suddenly in the cage. Called the persistence of vision. So all, for that, all you need is some sellotape, a pen, a pencil, some scissors, a ruler, and of course our trusty felt tip pen. So this is my son Alex, and Alex is going to show you, so, do you want to say hello? Hello. Alex is going to show you the special persistence of vision moving image. Can you see that? I'll just go a bit closer. That's it. Keep, keep spinning it. I think uh, that's. Hopefully, you can see that on camera now. Thank you, Alex. That's really good. And for this second activity, what you'll need is some paper, a pencil, a pen. You want something similar to a biro or at least a pen that dries quickly and an eraser. 
So what I'm going to show you is my technique for how I got my cartoon drawing better than it was. And this will hopefully help you a great deal. Because we'll start off by drawing an outline in pencil of the particular shape and then colour it in, well, draw over it rather, in pen. And then we can rub out the pencil lines afterwards. But let's, let me show you what I mean. So let's get on with the drawing. So for this little activity, what you're going to need are a sheet of paper, a pencil, I'm using a propelling pencil here, but any pen or well, any pencil you've got will do. You need a pen and a rubber or an eraser. So what we'll do first of all is um, I'm just going to show you a technique that you can use to draw a cartoon dog. What we're going to do with the pencil, we're going to do an outline first and then once we're happy with the way the outline looks then we can ink it in and then rub out the um, preparatory lines, the pencil lines that we um, don't want and then we'll see what it turns out there. So I'll show you how it works. Remember you can use line paper or plain paper. I'm using plain paper purely and simply so you can see it more easily. So I'm going to draw some shapes. So the first shape I'm going to draw is a sort of ellipse. A sort of, well, it's not particularly good there so I'm just going to get rid of that bit there. But it's a sort of elongated circle. So we're going to draw, so that's better, draw a circle there, draw a circle here, one here, sort of long little shape there, little shape there, there, another circle. That's the front leg. Now with the back leg, back legs are generally a little bit fatter especially on animals. So we're going to draw a bit of a, a wider shape there. Then another one there. And another foot there. Bring that down. There we go. We're going to draw his tail. So if I draw a tail just like so. No, I don't like that tail, no. I don't like that. Not that end bit, what that end bit should be coming up. Because I want a perky dog. A nice perky friendly dog. I just do that up. A nice little pointy bit there. And this is the preparatory work or the outline bit for our dog. Oh, he needs a nose. Draw that nose on. Reminds me of the, the joke that my dad used to tell me. My dog's got no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. I think that's nearly as terrible as that, that particular joke, actually. That smell. So what we're going to do, we're going to we start off by the nose. I'm going to trace it around. But notice that I'm not tracing around the circles. I'm going to carry on and not actually, so if you go up there, so you're not going round, you're just tracing around the shape that you've made. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go exactly on the, the pencil lines. I'm going to draw these legs next. There we go. That's not the same shape as this one here, so I'm just going to rub that out. That be it's slightly flatter at the bottom. That's it, that's it, that's better. So then we'll do that bit there. Put some claws on. We'll do the front leg as well. 
and then the other foot and then up there we can fill in the other lines just here we do that nose and bring that round there notice I'm not going up there it's just the general outline oh I need to draw that ear draw a slightly longer ear not quite as fat and then round there and I think oh let's fill in that nose and of course he needs an eye needs an eye to see I do a little mouth there with a few whiskers just like so let's give him a nice friendly eyebrow so now we've done that little bit all we need to do is wait for the ink to dry and then we just rub out the pencil lines like that and then that'll be perfect oh, I've just noticed I haven't got any claws on this first foot some little claws there just rub that bit out there and there we are we finished our cartoon dog you can have lots of fun with that. If you see any gaps at all, like there's a little gap there, you can just fill those in. So you can have lots of fun drawing your own cartoon dog. Remember, use the pencil first of all. If, if you're not happy with the shape, just rub it out and change it. Then you too can draw a nice little dog like this and if you do you can always let me know you can send me pictures if you send them to facebook.com forward slash stupendous fun and send me a message and then we'll see if we can be amazed by your super pictures and now it's time for the secret magic that I'm going to show you this week. So this week you will need a piece of card. Card is better than paper so that it doesn't rip. So any piece of card, this particular card is um, eight centimeters by 13 centimeters. So anything similar to that. And you also need again some scissors. Remember, you might need some help with the scissors. If so, ask your adult. If you do use scissors, please, as always, be super careful. So, like I said, for this, this trick, this is a bit of magic as well, as you know. You'll need a piece of card. Card's probably best because it's easier to cut and... Um, it's less likely uh, for things to tear and what you want that to be is roughly a bit of card maybe eight to ten centimeters wide and maybe say 13 to 16 centimeters long and you need some scissors you might need help with the scissors if you do, ask an adult. If, if you're using scissors yourself, please be super careful for me. So what you do is you say to the adult, what I'm going to try and do is to fit this piece of card around. And you think of something quite large. So I've got this little container here. Let's we'll see if we can fit this to go all the way around this container. And... Um, they'll say that's impossible what you do is say it's no it's not impossible what you need are some scissors so what you do 
is you bend the piece of card in half lengthways, just like this. You see? Oh, it's just bent along there. What you're going to do, you're going to cut a few slits along. So you start off by cutting it up to about there, then you move along probably about a centimetre maybe, a little bit less, and you cut it again and again. You keep on cutting. Now at this point your adult will probably be thinking, what on earth are they doing? You just keep on cutting not like that. I might be thinking, this isn't going to work. You might be thinking it's not going to work, looking at me at the moment. But it might work. Then what we're going to do is turn it around. So it looks like this at the moment. But we turn it around and we start cutting from here. But what you want to do is don't cut the first one, cut the second one. And you cut it, again, not quite to the end. So it looks a bit like that. You keep on cutting like that, all the way along. So what you need to try and do is try and find something that's quite big, that your adult will think there's no way that will fit around this. Again, this is all to do with topography. You keep on cutting until then. Now you don't want to cut the final one, this one here, just like you didn't cut the first one. So now it looks a bit like this. If you open it out, I'll see. It looks like this. Now comes the trick. Because what you're going to do, you're going to now cut along the middle section. That's why you didn't want to cut all the way along here. So if you cut just along here, And then you don't want to cut this final section. Be very careful. Because now you can stretch it out. You see that? If we bring the box back, let's put that there. You can now see that it can go all the way around the box. Now, if you had a large enough piece of card, not too large, you might be able to put that all over your head, all over your entire body. You see? You've stretched it out. Now, look how big that is. Let's show that one last time. So it goes all of the way around the box. So now well, let's see if you can fool your adults. If you do, please let me know. I'd love to know if you were able to fool them. Alex, what we're going to do now, we are going to put this bit of card over your head. Yep, o over your head. Okay. But what, what we've done We've actually cut it to look like this. So if you stretch that out, just stretch it out and then stretch it up there and see if it fits over your head. There we go. 
all the way over his head, almost like a, a necklace. You look lovely. You can actually do it to the shop. Oh, well, you could actually, couldn't you? Yeah. So thank you very much, Alex. Thank you too. Well, I hope you had fun this week with the stupendous show. Lots of activities there with the moving image, with the magic, with the drawing technique. Remember, if you want to send me pictures or anything that you've done from today's show, you can contact me. The, um, it's in the credits at the end, but you can find me on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash stupendous fun. Or you can email me at stupendousmagic at gmail.com. Because what I have got is a shout out, a shout out to a, a couple of my friends. We've got a big shout out for Archie. Thank you, Archie, for sending me your two pictures. The great picture of Balder you did with the technique of drawing that we did in the first show and your super picture of Hulk. That was amazing. And also a big shout out to Ryan. Ryan and his dad have been really enjoying the show. Thank you. A big shout out for you. And if you'd like a shout out as, as well, please contact me. With, um, showing me a picture or anything that you've enjoyed from the show and we can get a shout out for you. Now next week, we've got lots of activities. We've also got a bit of card magic. So what you'll need for the card magic is see if you can find a deck of cards. You need some blue tack, a um, paper clip or maybe a clothes peg. And then we'll see if we can do some amazing magic to, again, fool your adults. I hope you have fun. And remember, stay stupendous. Thank you.